it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and it is day 15 of our Scrappy Advent Calendar series. Today I am doing um, a process video as you can see so it is my homemade gift day uh, and I am making a layout I think this is day 22 in Jess's December daily. Um, 2022 December daily. Now I did a lot of prep for this off camera and I'd already kind of figured out my mechanism. So what I'm actually doing here is I've created a flip up um, and I'm making a bit of a banner shape at the bottom. Um, and I did that with my first one and I scored a little bit. Uh, I think it's a half inch or a centimeter. I can't remember if my scoreboard's metric or um, imperial, but um, I scored it. Anyway, let's just say it's half an inch. <laughs> um, and... I created my little banner and what I'm doing is creating two flip ups that are going to sit kind of one on top of the other um, so I can have multiple photos on this page um, and have it all look, I don't know, just kind of a bit cute. I could have gone way more over the top with embellishing this and I so didn't and I should have in hindsight, uh, but I didn't. I was wrapping these gifts uh, yesterday. Um, so, okay, story time. <laughs> it is sort of later in November at the time of me doing this voiceover um, and I have got COVID which is fun times so I've been home and look I haven't been too bad you can probably hear it in my voice that I definitely have a cold um, but basically it's really put me behind I was so on track I had made all my layouts and filmed all my videos up until this point and I'd filmed these two before having COVID uh, sorry day 15 and day 17 I had filmed before getting COVID and then just hadn't taken pictures done my voiceovers nothing um and because I'm isolating obviously um Jess and I were talking about it we're like we need to exchange it's actually December is next week um so I had to wrap up everything that I'd done so far and I still haven't my gifts haven't arrived I've got two lots of gifts that haven't arrived yet um so anyway I wrapped up and bagged up what I had but I'm gonna have to give a second round of things to her um it's just really anyway it's really put me behind but nonetheless I'm creating this flip mechanism now this is by no means my original idea um I was inspired by a video that Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life did as part of her kind of foundation pages for her December dailies. I think this is in her December memories album, which she's doing 10 by 8. Um, it's not the same as hers at all, like by any means, but I just saw what she did, was quite inspired by it and just took that concept I guess and made it work for my album so this is a six by eight page um it's an outside of the page protector layout obviously um and I've got one two three four photos I think I've got four photos and they're all family photos taken on Christmas Eve so every Christmas Eve we we being um my side of the family so my sister and I who share this channel so Jess and I um and my mum and dad um and then obviously our respective families my mother-in-law also comes because she lives with us and um Danny is an only child so um there's no she does have extended family but they're not close so um she always comes with us on Christmas Eve as well and we alternate which house we go to. So uh, this year in 2022, the year that I'm scrapping in this photo, uh, we're at Jess's house. And so we always take a family photo um, or try to. Uh, and so obviously 2022 was the first year um, Addison was born. And so we had Christmas with her. Um, and so, you know, we got our grandparents with the grandkids photos uh, which was super cute we got a silly one and a more serious one although that's also still pretty silly because you know three-year-old boys and five-year-old or six-year-old boys um, have a lot of trouble not being silly when they're all together <laughs> and Addison I mean she wasn't even um, one yet so you know it was fun times we do try to get a family photos every year um uh, so this year it will be at our house which I'm very excited about so hopefully it's warm enough we can use the swimming pool um, but we'll see what happens so I just wanted to be able to put all the four photos onto this page um, in a way that I don't know didn't make it too cluttered because all the photos are really lovely um, so this is Jess's album don't forget so she's included um, the grandparents photos the family photo of her family and then our big family photo so with all of us um, obviously she didn't include a family photo of my 
family. I mean, she could have. There's no reason she couldn't. Um, but yeah, she didn't. So that <laughs> that sounded weird. Uh, I don't think I included a family photo of her family in my album either. Just uh, side note. Um, but that's why, because this is her album that I'm creating, not my album. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is only the second time I've had COVID and I forgot about the brain fog. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I have not been able to do much scrapping. I've actually not had it too bad at all, really, all things considered. Um, just, you know, a, a bad cough or bad cold, um, quite a lot of congestion, um, not a lot of taste and smell going on right now, but I actually think that's congestion related because my nose is blocked. <coughs> do you have a bit of a cough? Um, however, this is day three, so I feel like I'm coming out the other end. We'll see. Um, but everyone's been home and no one else has got it as yet. We've been testing every day, but nobody else has it, which is interesting. Um, and I don't know why, because it's everywhere in, in Melbourne at the moment. Um, don't know about the rest of the world where you're listening from, but, um, yeah, it's very much everywhere. So, you know, who knows where I picked it up from? Could have been anywhere. Um, but I am just staying at home while I know that I'm COVID positive and keeping the kids home from daycare as well. Just, I don't have to if they're testing negative, uh, but I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Um, no one needs to be sick coming into December. It's my favorite time of the year, folks. <laughs> and I just assume that it's everybody's favorite time of the year, which obviously is not true. But, you know. Uh, so I just am like, nobody needs to get COVID at Christmas. So <laughs> um, let's stay home. So I pulled off the Christmas Joy, which was from the chipboard set. And I thought, where am I going to use this title? Because I'm trying to only use the chipboard in my outside of the page protector layouts. And so I thought, you know what? I'm putting this giant title on this page. Um, I added the Christmas tree just because I could. And it's cute. And it's a large ephemera piece. Um, and then I added my number 22 kind of nestled in there um, underneath the Joy or, or sort of between the on the other side of the Y tail <laughs> um, and then I've got my flippy bits and then I just do a little cluster in the bottom right um, oh I think I do add a puffy sticker actually um, yeah so I'm going to create a little cluster in the bottom right now I definitely could have embellished more I really could have but I just kept it simple um, maybe I might go back I know I said that Jess is opening them and she is but she's actually then giving them back to me which I know sounds really weird um, but I will finish a 2022 album for her because that's what I like to do. Um, and spoiler alert, she's probably not watching this. Uh, I'm going to try and finish it so I can give it to her on Christmas day. So she actually probably won't, if that's the case, she won't give me the layouts back in time. <laughs> um, but on Christmas day or Christmas Eve, when I see her, um, we'll add all of these layouts in where they go. <laughs> into her album um, so that will be fun I'm hoping to have it finished I may not and if I don't then it will just hold off and she'll get it when she gets it um, I got my December 2021 album which we did oh this is very confusing um, which we did for our uh, 2022 Scrappy Avent Calendar series so last year's Scrappy Avent Calendar we did December dailies uh, from 2021 we did each other's um, and Jess only gave me mine back like a month ago, <laughs> all finished. So it took her a while. <laughs> I gave her hers on Christmas Day. <laughs> um, but, you know, life's busy. Um, so I added a little Christmas tree down the bottom as well. And then I added a little squirrel with the Christmas present as a little um, chipboard piece. And I'm just going through to see if there's anything else I want to add. I did think about adding more, but then I didn't. I added some chipboard stars and then I'm pretty sure I'm done. Um, I've got some close-ups coming at you so you can see these. Um, I hope you like the opening videos. I hope you're enjoying our series so far. Day 15, whew, getting to the pointy end now. Um, hopefully I can finish all of my videos um, and push through COVID and get it all done. I mean, it's not even December yet. So I've got plenty of time up my sleeve if I need to. Um, but hopefully you're enjoying it and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.